Arctic scientist Kim Holman's devoted his life to polar research. Before taking us into the wilderness, there are some precautions. There we are, we're all set. And not without reason. We spotted this polar bear skirting the edge of the island's main settlement. Hungry bears have killed people here. As we accelerate into the blistering cold, an epic landscape unfolds. The Norwegian Polar Institute's been studying Svalbard for a century, unlocking clues about how our planet was formed. But in recent years, they've made some alarming finds. This is Templefjord. It's meant to be completely frozen at this time of year. Now look at it. Climate change used to be measured in decades. Now it's measured in years. February and March were the warmest months in the Arctic on record. We see uh, temperature rising about twice as fast as on the rest of the planet. And uh, we see many changes in the ecosystems as a consequence of that. That the ice is gone means that uh, the seals that used to rest on the ice are gone and uh, thus the polar bear is also elsewhere. It goes for the food where the seals are. Riding the wind, a flock of northern fulmer birds. Almost 90% have traces of plastic in their stomachs. By 2050, scientists believe there'll be more plastic in the oceans than fish. It's not long before we encounter Arctic reindeer. The warmer weathers led to rainfall, which quickly turns to ice, making it harder for the animals to dig for food. Many are now struggling to survive. For the scientists working in this remote outpost, the landscape's changing under their feet. There are several of these monitoring stations on this single glacier alone, sending back important data to researchers. Glaciers like this have been shrinking half a metre every year for the last 40 years. Scientists say it's all because of global warming. Climates change naturally, but the scientists say that man-made carbon dioxide emissions are warming our planet. The price of human progress is the loss of man's last great wilderness. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Svalbard in the high Arctic.